Hello everyone, I am Nagali Prasad, working in Telangana Social Welfare Residential Center of Excellence, Serenity. As in the part of Zoology Practicals, today I am going to explain you a demonstration that is identification of the presence of starch in the given samples. My dear students, in the part of Zoology Practicals, we have five experiments, these physiological experiments, among that one question will be asked in the examination so that you have to uh, be prepared for that you have to perform during the examination so that before that you have to know what is the procedure and the principle and the, how we can do this experiment so let us discuss today so the first of all uh, there are some steps are involved in this by that you can uh, you have to mention in the examination you have to write in this way first of all you have to write A so my dear students aim is to observe and understand the presence of starch in the given samples by the addition and act action of the iodine. So here uh, the four samples are given. Among these four samples, one sample contains starch. So here you need to identify in which, uh, in which starch is present. Further uh, we have to add the iodine and we have to understand how iodine can act with starch and what is the inference in, uh, involved in this. So this is the aim. Then the principle involved in this experiment is as we know starch is a mixture of amylose and amylopectin. Starch is a complex carbohydrate, right? So it's a mixture of amylose and amylopectin. In this, amylose is a water soluble. So when we add into add uh, water into starch, it is soluble in water and reacts with iodine solution gives blue color complex as starch, is, starch solution is white in color right when we add a few drops of iodine to white white colored starch it turns into bluish black color so that bluish black color indicates the presence of starch in that particular solution so chemicals and equipments what are the chemicals are uh, used in this experiment right starch liquid so among these four one starch liquid is there and iodine solution which is a reaction to understand uh, um, where in which uh, starch is present and test tubes, I took the four test tubes I named even marker with A, B, C, D to uh, dump, to take uh, different samples into uh, respective test tubes and the droppers, so dropper is helping to drop the iodine into the test tubes alright then procedure, very simple procedure my dear students Take one ml of each sample from the given samples. Take one ml from each uh, samples. A, B, C, C and D separately in four different test tubes. Take A into A test tube and so on. Then add two drops of iodine solution into the test tubes. Just add two uh, drops of iodine into each test tube. Blue color appears in the test tube contains starch. Very simple. In which uh, uh, the test tube turns into bluish color, then it is uh, it contains starch. That is a procedure. And the result, what is the result? Appearance of blue color indicates the presence of starch. As our aim is that only. So to our observe and understand the presence of starch. Right? Like finally, appearance of blue color indicates the presence of starch. So that is the result. My dear students, after completion of your experiment, your uh, activity, then you have to fill this table. Observation table must uh, uh, to be filled uh, during uh, practical examination. So, if A sample uh, uh, turns into bluish color, then mention here it contains starch. If B uh, turns into bluish color, then mention. If does not no color appearance means no starch is present. Some other chemical is present. Now we are, our aim is to understand, uh, identify the presence of starch, not other chemicals, right? So let us perform this activity in a simple manner. So my dear students, uh, start, uh, by uh, very starting thing is just observe A, B, C, D samples are given. All are white color solutions only. We do not know in which uh, uh, starch is present. Then take uh, every solution uh, into respective test tube. So already I marked with A. Then I am taking. A uh, little bit, actually you can measure also then I took this much uh, quantity then B so while uh, dumping just a steel so that it is important so then this is a sample B 
and uh, I'm adding even sample C into sample C, uh, test tube C also. Uh, then finally D. So I have taken these four samples from the four uh, samples which are given. Right now I am going to add uh, two two drops of iodine to each test tube. So adding later we can observe. So added. So turns into uh, does not turn into bluish color. This is also. So and uh, let us see. So see, see students, this turns into bluish color. One more, one more we will confirm it. So among these four test tubes, just have a look onto these four. So these three turns into these three uh, A, B, and D. They appear in a light red color because of iodine color. Now the sample C. Now sample C turns into bluish color because uh, the C sample uh, contains the starch. Just you confirm it. Here turns observation is turns into blue color. So our uh, our uh, principle is water. Uh, the uh, water water sample react with iodine so it gives blue color complex. So C turns into bluish color. Hence the inference what C sample contains starch. The main uh, does not contain the starch solution. It is some other solution. So this is. Uh, the test of our start. So thank you very much.